going to bring up Lonnie Stark, our Vice President of Content and Commerce. Welcome. Good morning, San Jose. Good afternoon, good evening to our fellow in-person events in Bangalore, Sydney, and Basel, as well as online everywhere. This is by far one of the most exciting developer live uh, events because we are at a transformational stage in what we call the agentic web. This is where the brands that we work with, the companies, the experiences we're building is transforming two ends of um, the things we build. First, it's changing the audiences we build for. So not only are we optimizing experiences for people, but also for AI agents, machines. And that changes, I think, how we think about development innovation. And the other way that AI is transforming is in the way we work, how we develop, what tools, what collaborators we have in the AI space to help build these experiences. And it's reshaping all of these aspects, which is a key thing, a key through line in this developer live event. This, I've been in the industry now for over 25 years. I look at this as way bigger than the evolutions we've had around when we first went online and the web was created um, to what was cloud, what was social, generative, and now what we're talking about is the rise of agentic AI. And I was here in Silicon Valley. I moved here from Canada in 2000 at the heart and the heat of the dot-com era. And this by far feels way bigger than that. How many people would agree? How many people have been here, right? And what's fascinating is I've been playing with AI myself as well, and it changes everything from ground roots, the hardware that you spec, for these systems to what you build on top to how you think about um, operating systems, applications, and even, frankly, the philosophies around what it actually means to be human. So it's so transformative, both in the experiences as well as society. And at the root of it, when we think about innovations as developers, at the heart of it, it is transforming the way that brands interact with customers uh, online. And the front door is changing in two ways. People, consumers, their behavior is changing. You and I, we've been on ChatGPT. We're not alone. There's 800 million uh, weekly active users on it. We're going into other LLMs like Perplexity, Google AI overviews, and we're starting our conversations around problems, challenges, product discovery there, and then coming into an interaction with an experience that you and I may have built. It's also uh, changing um, how, what kind of information that the website needs to produce, not just for humans, but also for machines now. These LLMs uh, read, synthesize, um, what is happening. And so this is changing how we need to think about the development of these experiences. And we're building essentially for two completely different audiences, humans and machines. And we have this idea that humans um, you know, need, in fact, in this agentic era, need even more emotive, amazing experiences. I almost call it the like Disneyland effect. It's like People aren't sending their agents to Disneyland. You go there, and so the human experiences that we develop need to be that experiential, that gives people reason to come and interact and have those direct relationships with companies. But also, the machines want the structure. They want the 
information, they want the facts, statistics. I sometimes say that humans aren't going to read, for example, a 2,000 line item FAQ, but the agents will, and they'll synthesize that into their knowledge base. And so being able to drive that duality is going to also change the way that we need to work. And as we have been observing this in our product and engineering team, in the ways that we work, the ways and these experiences that ultimately need to change uh, for humans and machines, we have, and it's exciting to share with you, and you will see it in the follow-on sessions, Adobe's vision for the brand experience system for the Gentic web. Okay, and how you want to think about this, right? If we start at the bottom, we have Experience Manager and Adobe Commerce. And there, rooted in that, is the enterprise context, the tools, the application, the data, the telemetry. All of that forms the core of uh, the context needed for both humans and AI to form a complete intelligence system. These are all right, accessible, callable, and actionable by both human interfaces, applications, as you've seen, such as Experience Hub, where people can go in and reach, richly look at um, operating right, Experience Manager Commerce in collaboration with AI agents, which we'll be talking about more as well. At the same time, being able to ensure that AI agents and AI becomes a first-class citizen on these applications as well. And being able to orchestrate it, being able to connect not only to the innovations that Adobe has, but also through our partners to be able to orchestrate them to do useful things that enable experience generation, experience governance, experience optimization. So we worked, in fact, last week, I think it was, we hosted some Adobe champions here at headquarters. And one of the fun exercises we got them to do was say, imagine what it is that are things you do every day that you know is taking up your time, that is the mundane, the things that if you could get done faster, more automatically, you'd be able to be more creative, productive, strategic, and deliver even better experiences. And we got people to write down post-it notes of like things they wanted. And what was magical was that some of the agents we're going to be talking about today map to some of the things we wish that we could have AI help us with as we operate, innovate, develop on Experience Manager and Adobe Commerce. And then, of course, making sure that it is secure and trusted and governed as the web becomes the content and meaning center point for a brand for both humans and AI agents. And what's really important is in our vision, we're not just providing these agents, but we're also surfacing them in real world business challenges and use cases in application surfaces. There's LLM Optimizer, which we announced just recently, which is about driving brand visibility and being able to take actions on it to increase your visibility and trust in what LLMs such as ChatGPT, Google AI overviews, and Perplexity is talking about your brand. So this is working in conjunction with the experiences you're developing, the content generation capabilities you're putting into the system to then connect it and see the impact of it in these LLMs to represent your brand well in those conversations. There's Sites Optimizer, which is really about automation, that continuous opt optimization of the human interactions on your site, which becomes even more important because when someone lands on your site, it's almost like the long tail content and experiences are going to be important. In fact, I have a personal website that I just did audit. And it used to be that 
20% of your content drove 80% of the traffic. Recently, I did an audit of my personal site, and it's flipped. So what's fascinating is that, that the long tail, like 80% of 90% of the traffic is driven by 80% of the content. There is content that's out there in different ways, and that requires different ways of being able to develop. In the 25 years of innovation, what's also important on this journey that many of you have been with us on is that uh, you've been part of this journey. And what's important is as we continue to innovate and evolve for the Gentic web, we are also making sure that all of the experiences uh, and things that you have created come along. And what's important is our announcement of these AI services and agents are going to be able to be able to deliver value and work with all of the cloud install base. So that's managed services, cloud service, and edge delivery as well. On top of that, I'll say that in a world where people can generate a lot of code and experiences and all that, and we have the opportunity to 10x our productivity, to really be able to do more, what I think is true still is that trust. Um, that trust in uh, being able to make sure that these systems are governed. And so the other initiative I think is really important that I'm really proud of that Adobe has been a founding member of is the Content Authenticity Initiative. So this is also about being able to make sure the experiences we build, that there is that trust signal that comes from a cryptographic provenance that something actually came from a particular brand. And we have seen a lot of generative AI technologies out there that create fakes or create things that look, are looking very real. And so being able to discern what are those authenticated experiences that we're creating, those brand experiences, are really important. So these agents are not only helping to increase productivity, creating great experiences, but are also grounded in that trust. So that, I hope, gives you an outline of where we've been, where we're going. Today, um, it's an exciting lineup. We're going to have Mark Schultz unpack the agentic evolution and go into that in a bit more details. Cedric Huesler and Martin uh, Berge, if you've seen on LinkedIn, Cedric posted a really sneak peek of his slides for today. And I think he's really going to take you through what is the agentic evolution of AEM. And I would say this is the first time that we have gone from our development to really showcasing what's, um, what we've been up to. So you guys are going to be one of the first folks uh, here and online that are going to see what we've been up to. And then uh, Lars will do a challenge us on a coding agent showdown, which I know will be interesting. And later on, you'll see um, uh, in demos, action, commerce, brand concierge, and some of our optimization products. So each session builds on the next. But before we get there, I want to invite someone who I've had the pleasure of partnering with over the last, I would say, 15 years, uh, David Neuschler, who is now the VP and fellow here. And he's done a lot around innovating. Uh, his latest brainchild has been edge delivery. But I know he's also been uh, working on commerce innovations and some of the additional telemetry that we have.